What? Nearly as good as a club unveiling. Yes, when a club announces a signing, it's usually with obviously the player in the club shirt with the scar above his head at the club's ground or at the club's training ground. But the question is, what is nearly as good? What is a 99.9% um, as good as that? Well, yes, Mr. Fabrizio Romano, the Italian transfer guru, the Italian prince of transfers, the man who is in the know, the man who sleeps with his mobile phone permanently attached to his hand or his ear, or one. Um, Ferrezio Romano, the man who seems to know everything about everybody, who seems to know what a club is doing before the club even knows it is doing it. Yes, Ferrezio Romano is at it again, and this time he is talking Glasgow Rangers. This time he's talking about our club and this time he is confirming a deal. Yes, it's Fabrizio. So, look, it's 99.9% .9 sure a thing. This is what Fabrizio has tweeted out on his official Twitter X, whatever it's called, account. Uh, so, you look, you've got to say, if Fabrizio is saying it, it's pretty good accurate. He says, Rangers are set to complete the deal to sign Brazilian left-back Hefte, confirmed, and here we go. So here we go. It is confirmed. It is pretty much done and dusted, bar the unveiling, bar the official above-the-head scarf and the shirt picture. Understand Hefte is on his way to complete the medical test and sign the contract as a new Rangers player. As revealed in January, Scottish side prepared it all for the summer window. So it appears, uh, appears, as Fabrizio Romano said, after this transfer deal did not go through in January due to all of those break clauses, et cetera, et cetera, a lack of a break clause in Hefte's contract at Apoel Nicosia, that Rangers obviously agreed in principle to sign Hefte in the summer transfer in window. Uh, obviously, there was a lot of uh, toing and throwing over that deal with uh, the uh, Apoel president seemingly trying to put uh, his two penneth in and ruin the deal. But it now appears that this is a absolutely done deal and it will be done as ASAP. Certainly great news given the fact that Rangers are going to lose Borna Barisic uh, in this um, this transfer window. He will be departing to, I think it's Trabzon Sport. Uh, that is where all the stories are that he is off to. Um, but great news to get Hefte, great news that Hefte will be joining the club. Um, you know, I think it is a situation where Philly Clermont has clearly talked about wanting to have greater strength in depth, wanting to have more quality for every single position. And this is what he's doing, I think, with the signing of Hefte to back up, hopefully, Ridvan, also having Robbie Fraser as a potential. But it's not just left back that Hefte can fill. He can also play left wing. He can play left wing back. He can play as a left midfielder. He is a very naturally left-footed player. And I think there's something that, you know, he has two things this Rangers team, well, actually he has three, three things this Rangers team really lacks, height, speed, and a left foot. Uh, you know, certainly we've seen with Ridvan out injured and the lack of trust in Borna Barisic that often Dujan Sterling has had to fill in at left back. Yes, young Robbie Fraser has come in and done a very good job and I hope that Robbie will continue to get opportunities next season. But the signing of Hefte is definitely a positive one. Uh, no news as to the amount of money that has been spent on Hefte, uh, certainly given a lie to the fact that we have no money. Um also, the fact that Hefte is a very young player, still up and coming player, another player who can be developed, who can be got better, who can be improved and certainly fits that trading model that uh, John Bennett and Niels Coppen talked about when Coppen was appointed to you know, bring in this aggressive trading model, to bring in this model to generate money for Rangers. Uh, certainly, it is a great deal. I think it's a spot on deal. Uh, Hefte you know, comes with some pretty high recommendations from Brazil. Um, you know, Brazil have a sort of a, a pedigree, don't they, of producing excellent fullbacks. Uh, you know, you've only got to look back across some of the names like Cafu, Roberto Carlos, uh, Carlos Pereira, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, Diego, uh, what's he called? Alves, Danny Alves. Yes, I mean, he has a slightly dodgy, dodgy, I think he's in prison now, but he still was a very good footballer. Uh, now, I'm not going to say that Hefte is going to be the next Roberto Carlos, or he's going to be the next Cafu or the next uh, Carlos Pereira. I'm not saying that for a minute. But look, at the end of the day, he looks a quality player. From what I've seen, I've watched game tape of him. I've watched some highlights of him. I've watched not just a YouTube highlights reel of him. He looks a very talented player. And 
like I said, you've got to also start to put faith in Niels Coppen and his scouting team. Coppen is clearly demonstrated with the signing of Diamande and the signing of Cortez that he has an eye for a good player, that he has an eye for a player that can come in and make a difference. Um, you know, we've obviously got to trust Niels Coppen and his scouting network. He certainly did fantastic when he was at PSV, bringing the likes of Bakayoko, Noah Lang, Joey Veerman, uh, Sibari, etc., etc., to PSV. Great news, guys. Fantastic news ahead of the Cup final. Sadly, obviously, he can't play in the Cup final because he hasn't formalised his deal and the transfer window doesn't officially open to the 14th of June. So before anybody asks, no, he can't play Saturday. OK, thank you for watching Glasgow Rangers Nation, guys. Please, obviously, smash that sub and help us to keep on growing. Thanks for watching. And as always, on the way out, two things. One, smash that like. It defeats that evil algorithm. And number two, remember always, we are the people. <laughs>